All right, let's do our warm ups and focus a little on our arms and shoulders and wrists and hands and fingers today. So take a moment just to sink into your feet evenly, toes straight ahead, knees going toward your toes, sitting bones toward the floor, shoulders back and down, and just reach your crown toward the ceiling, get that spine lengthening, and then let the belly move as you breathe, but keep that core activated, so ribs toward your spine and up, but allowing the Lungs to fill completely, belly moving out, exhaling, sinking back in. <clears throat> and just focus on bringing your awareness in with the inhalations and letting stress and tension release as you exhale. And as you sink into the earth evenly and reach up through the crown, shoulders back and down, just begin aligning everything in your body and letting all your muscles release. And then as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows a little bit back. Inhale, stretch forward, shoulders down. And then exhale, the hands behind you, fingertips clasp and press your hands toward the floor as you lift your heart toward the ceiling, a little upper body back bend. Focusing across the shoulders. Pivot at your hips, exhale over. Bring your hands up and your head down. Move your head around, circles with your chin. Both directions. Just let that neck release a little bit. And then bend your knees slightly toward your toes. And sitting bones go toward the floor as you bind your way all the way from the bottom of the spine up into your upper body for the back bend. Stretch your head back as deeply as you want into the back bend, but no further. And then inhale up, release your arms, and take a moment to again center and ground. Spreading your toes, inhaling again, shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders down and then clasp the opposite way behind you, so other finger outside. And again, lift your heart and stretch and pivot over as you exhale. And just deepen as far into that as your lower back would like today. Maybe lift your sitting bones and stretch the back of your legs. Hands toward your head for a little shoulder look. And then again, knees bent and winding up from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top and into a back bend. And again, only as far as you're feeling right for you today. Spread your toes, shoulders dropping, head reaching away. And then inhale up, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling the circulation. A little bit more energized. And now let's keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean over to the side. And just get that side of your body opening, stretching apart through the ribs. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Maybe look up toward that arm so you're not leaning forward. And just maximize or minimize your side stretch. Reach out through your fingers and the top of your head. Inhale, coming to the top. Exhale, that arm down. And the other side, arm out, shoulders low down, palm toward the ceiling, hand right above your shoulders. Push the hands away for that stretch and lean to the other side. And again, only as far as you're wanting to go, reaching your head and your fingers away, pushing the foot you're leaning away from now. And again, no leaning that shoulder forward, look up toward it to make sure you're not. Reach and stretch and breathe. And then inhale, sliding up, and release back into mountain pose. Shake your arms out, shake your shoulders out. And get ready for our twist. So remember, really stretch the spine apart. Arms reaching at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. And again, stretch and straighten everything. And then exhale and turn to one side. 
Another breath in as you're lengthening there in the spine and just into that form again. And again, just deepen as far as you want. Keep your toes spreading. Keep your arms near your ears and lift your sitting bones. Let the back of your legs stretch. Feel that whole body turning to the side. Notice what's going on and if you've got that weight on both feet evenly. And then work your way up in the twist. Still looking toward the ceiling with those arms near your ears. And again, upper body, especially as you're focusing this back bend, because the lower back gets very vulnerable when you're twisting. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, shoulders down and lengthen things and exhale to the other side. Again, spread your toes, get the weight even, and stretch, and then exhale over. And again, only as deep as your body is wanting on this side. Take a moment and relax. And keeping your arms near your ears, work your way up in your twist, and lift your heart. Shoulders down, elbows back, stretch that head away and lift your chest. As much or as little on the back bend as you like. Inhale up, exhale around to the center. Lift your arms straight above you, but keep your shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Head toward the ceiling and breathe extended mountain pose. Keep lengthening and stretching through the back of your neck. And just allow everything to settle into both feet. And then swan dive. So turn your hands out, come to shoulder level, pivot forward. When you get parallel to the floor or so, just stretch everything out. Keep lengthening, back straight, arms straight, <coughs> and legs. And then <coughs> drop into rag dog. Chin in a little bit and just deepen. You can bend your knees if you need to and just sink down. Slide your hands up under your knees, everything straight. So elbows, knees, and back all flat. And then exhale and right down. And one more time with those arms hanging in front, just slowly work your way up, bring the shoulders back and down. And again, into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feel what's going on through your body today. And then let's stretch the spine apart and just turn to each side, getting that shoulder area, upper back area, really going in the twist, but also moving those hips around a little bit too. So hips, ribs, and shoulder turn each direction. Just follow your hands with your gaze. Just notice how your body is moving, just gently. And then back to the center and shoulder work. So a little back stroke, keep those arms moving around. And then back in the mountain pose, just shake your arms. And then relax into mountain pose. Bring your hands to prayer position. We'll look at them and bring them toward the ceiling. And extend your arms, bring your thumbs back into a little back bend. Exhale, follow your hands back to your heart. And then split them apart, bring them around and clasp behind you. And press your shoulder blades down and maybe a little bit together, but not too much. Palms either pressing toward each other or not, depending on what your shoulders can handle today. And then release those arms and bring them to the front, clasp the hands and press them away. Straight out in front, push those heels of your palms out. And then bring the hands up overhead with those palms still pressing out. And exhale, arms back to shoulder level. And again, we're going to bring them back and clasp them the opposite way behind you. So the other finger goes on the outside. And again, you can press those hands together if the palms are not. 
you just notice how that works through your shoulders, through your elbows, through your whole arms and wrists. And again, releasing, bring those arms at shoulder level, again, back to the front, clasp that opposite way again and press the palms edge. Heels of the palms moving away from the palms, just as even to the front as you can, and then bring them all the way up. And again, press to the ceiling, but keep your shoulders pressing toward your waist and stretch those wrists up. And again, release, bring your arms to shoulder level and exhale them down. And again, just feel what's going on across the whole arm area, shoulder area, and release. And just circle those wrists a few times both ways. And then relax. And again, let's bring the hands to shoulder level or to prayer position right in front of your heart. Turn the fingers out away from you and then down toward the floor. And just keep pressing those hands as much together as your wrists are feeling okay. And then we'll rotate them back up. And then this one's probably a little harder for you. Bring that fingertips toward you. You may need to move your arms and elbows a little bit. And then see if you can bring those fingertips down. And again, it's a little bit more challenging through the wrist. So if you've got any challenges there, just only go as far as feels right for you. And then again, rotate it back toward you and up toward the ceiling. And release. You kind of feel if there's a little more tension and stress through your wrists, through your shoulders, or anywhere in your arms. Moment and breathe. And then bring your arms up to shoulder level and stretch the fingertips out. Turn the palms up and spread those fingers. So your head is reaching up, your fingers are reaching away. And then some circles, keeping those fingers spread and fingertips reaching out. Head reaching up, sitting bones down, even into the feet. And just make some circles. As big or as wide as those circles want to be for you. And then slow them slowly into smaller circles. And then back at shoulder level, stretching out straight, turn the palms down, still spread those fingers out. And then circle backwards. So keep stretching out and circling as much as your body is willing to do on this direction. And again, make some smaller circles for a moment. And then straight out, stretch it out. Push to one side, just give it a nice side stretch. Move the shoulders back to the center, over to the other side. Push through that arm and back to the center. Stretch it out and release. And again, feel the circulation from the shoulders down to your fingertips. And then just move your arms around and relax. And breathe, crown toward the <clears throat> ceiling and sitting bones toward the floor. And again, arms to shoulder level. Thumbs inside, the palms wrap those fingers just gently around, and then push out through the fists. Keep everything at shoulder level. Turn one fist up and one down. We've done this before. So just move those fists, one up and one down. Just rotate them away. Keep pushing out through the fists, up through the crown. And again, bring your lower arm into it all the way up to the elbow. Just letting that whole lower arm move as much as your body is willing to do. And then get your upper arms into it. Going a little bit deeper into that whole arm area. And then moving the shoulders with it, growing into that shoulder area, giving a good rotation in and out. And all the way to the middle of your back, at the spine, everything is moving from the fists all the way to the middle of your spine. Really get those shoulders emphasizing those wrists and forearms, feeling it all the way, all the length of your arm. 
And then just gently releasing the shoulders and the upper arms and the lower arms, just working the space. Stretch it out again and shake those arms and fists and fingers and everything back into mountain pose. So pause a moment, feel the circulation, and just kind of notice any tingling sensations, anything going on where they are in your arms and upper body. And then again, hands to your heart. Inhale, bringing them up. A nice little back bend if you love it. Exhale, follow the hands to your heart, all the way dipping down into rag doll. Hands up on your shins, stretch and straighten halfway up. Exhale back down. Palms together and inhale. Hands to your heart again and toward the ceiling. Another little back bend, bringing those fingers back, looking at your thumbs, lifting your heart. Exhaling hands to your heart. And again, just pivoting on over, releasing the arms down. Just feel as those shoulders hang, arms hang, how that's working. Again, slide the hands up and stretch and straighten things. Exhale, releasing. Palms together, inhaling. Again, slight knee bend as you come back up, following those hands to your heart. And again, all the way toward the ceiling. Another back bend as deeply as you'd like, lifting your heart, your chest toward the ceiling, looking at the thumbs. Separate, palms out, swan dive forward, chest and chin coming forward. Stretch and drop all the way into ragdoll. And again, hands to your shins, stretch and straighten, shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Bend your knees, exhale, hands into ragdoll. And another, just wind up slowly and coming to your heart. And again, following the hands up toward the ceiling, looking at them coming into your back bend, only as far as you'd like. Exhaling down and again into mountain pose. More circulation, just notice. And then take the heels of your palms on your lower shoulder blades, fingertips toward your waist towards your hips, and pull your elbows toward each other. Feel that expansion across the top of your chest. And just keep pulling those elbows toward each other a little bit more. Press those palms nicely, gently into your back. And lift your heart. And again, another little back bend as you move your head a little behind you, looking toward the ceiling. And then chin towards your chest. And release your arms back into mountain pose. And again, just each time you move your arms, just kind of notice what's working, what's resisting, let it relax. And one more time, hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Other little back bend if you love them. And follow your hands all the way down toward the floor. Exhale and relax. Another shift up into that halfway up stretch, palms on your shins, and looking, stretching, looking toward the floor. Bend your knees and come on all the way down to the mat, and coming into our transition child's pose. So hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down, and just let those shoulders relax. Release those hands in whatever is a comfortable position. Take a moment and breathe. And when you're ready, sit up on your heels, shoulders back and down, and then slide off and come in. Oh, let's just do a cross-leg position. Sitting bones behind you, crown toward the ceiling. And remember, creatures of habit, switch your legs around so that we get a little bit of alternative work through the hips and legs. So again, make sure those sitting bones are slightly behind you to give you good spinal support on that whole back of your body. You can put your pillow back there if you need it. Shoulders back and down. You can fold the mat a little bit just to elevate and make it more comfortable on your legs and knees. So we're gonna work the arms a little bit more. So bring one arm out front Palms down toward the floor, shoulder level. 
And then we're going to take the other hand and pull that hand down so that the back of the wrist gets a little stretch across it. Take a moment and breathe. Just push out through that base of your wrist or back of your wrist and just feel what's going on in your thumb and your bottom of your wrist and your whole arm. And then reverse it, pull the fingers back and push that wrist away from you. And kind of circle your thumb if you want, both directions. See how that looks as you're pushing that heel of the palm away. And then bring the hand flat, spread the fingers out, and really just spread them out. And then thumbs and fingers push down with your other hand, just gently, no need to crack the knuckles. And then pull each one back. Just feel the stretch across the palm this way. Now where you're, notice where you're feeling it. And again, spread those fingers out when you're done. Really spread them out. And then take your thumb inside and wrap your fingers around it. Make a bud. Tighten your fist as much as you can. Tighten, pulling in those fingers around your thumb. And really tighten it. And then that National Geographic flower blooming in slow motion, just each of the petals unfurling, just let those fingers go, spreading them out as they are ready to do so. Feel what's going on through your whole hand, palm, wrist, arm. And then as those fingers get spread, tip that face of the flower palm up toward the ceiling and shake it out. And notice the difference on the two sides. Yes, so we've got to balance the body. So go ahead, switch your legs too, and we'll do the other side. So once again, sitting on slightly behind you, core supporting your spine, lengthen through that whole back of your body. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Breathe and bring the other arm out. And again, spread the fingers as much as you would like. And keep that arm about parallel to the floor. And again, I'm going to use the other hand to pull down and push out through the back of the wrist. And again, just notice what's going on through your arm, through your wrist area, through your hand. Maybe circle the thumb on that one. And then bring the fingers back and push the heel of the palm away. And again, maybe circle the thumb, just noticing what it does. And pulling back, pushing out through the wrist, just noticing what that arm is doing, all the way from the shoulder down your back, as well as out through the wrist of the hand. And then flatten the hand, spread the fingers even more if you can, and work those fingers one at a time. Just feel the back of your hand be a little stretch as you do that. And then pulling the fingers the opposite way, as well. And whenever you're done with that, just again, spreading your fingers, really stretching that hand. And bring your thumb inside, wrap the fingers around, make your fist bud. Feel what's going on all the way up your arm as you do that. Really notice how that fist is working. Keep pushing out through the fist, back with the shoulder down with the shoulder blade, up with the crown, and then unfurl your finger petals. And again, just as slowly as feels right for your joints and arms and fingers and everything. Spread those fingers wide as you get out. And then tip the hands so the palm is facing forward, up toward the sun and the sky, like those flower faces. And again, just shake it all out. Notice how that looks in your body. And then bring your hands down. Let's cup around the knees, ribs back and chin down, or head toward the floor. Relax the shoulders and then roll to one side. Lift your heart, looking up, drop those shoulders, roll to the other side, and back to the center. And just a few times that direction. 
Lifting the heart, feeling those shoulders moving around, getting a little more circulation going, whatever's happening in your body. And then the next time you're forward, just pause and go the opposite direction. And again, lifting your heart, feeling those shoulder blades drop as you go toward the back and rolling around to the front. Just feeling those shoulders, a little more release as you go through that range of motion. And once again, when you're forward, just pause and then sit up. And again, switch your legs around. Sitting bones behind you just a little bit, lengthen up through the crown. And then take one hand to the opposite knee and the other arm out in front. Stretch your spine apart and exhale into your twist again following hips, ribs, and shoulder all the way around. Bring your hand close to you on the floor and stretch up, fingertips or palm down, whatever works for you. You can push the hand and knee together for a little more leverage into your twist if you love a twist. But remember, turn your whole spine, hips, ribs, and shoulder, not just your neck. Take a moment to breathe and then just really relax through both arms. Notice how that's different. And then again, arm back up to shoulder level behind you and follow it around to the center and release. A little more spine circulation from the twist maybe going up into your head. Just notice. And switch your legs around. Again, sitting bones going behind you and crown high. Shoulders and shoulder blades down. Bring that other hand to the opposite knee and opposite arm at, at shoulder level. Shoulders down, shoulder blades towards your waist, crown reaching up toward the ceiling and exhaling, follow that hand into the twist on this side. Maybe different, just notice that. Bring the hand behind you close to you on the floor. Your hips, ribs, and shoulder are turning toward the side. And then lengthening from the sitting bones up. Exhale and deepen hip, rib, and shoulder, maybe going further if you love it. And again, this arm on the leg can be a little bit of a lever if you want more twist, but don't force anything. Take a moment and breathe, deepening your twist as much or as little as your body wants. Remember, always personal practice. And again, just relax the arms totally, both of them. You notice how different that feels. And then bring the hand back up at shoulder level, follow it all the way back to the center and release. And again, just take a moment and notice how your body reacts to that twist energy. And it's time for a relaxation. So bring your feet to the end of the mat, come into staff position with that core active, spine stretching up toward the ceiling, feet pressing away with the toes up and knees up. Activate that core and just slowly roll down, letting your body release onto the floor and into corpse position and relax. So knees and toes up toward the ceiling, palms up as well, let those shoulders go sink down. So you'll feel that expansion across your heart and upper chest. Take a moment, move your head around, circle your jaw, let everything release. Maybe put the tongue on the back of your upper teeth to let that whole face and jaw relax a little more. And just soften your body, let that arm and shoulder area really sink into that surface beneath you. Since we did so much work there today, just concentrate on focusing the effort to relax there. And let your whole body just soften and sink into that earth embrace. Deepen those shoulders, shoulder blades down into the surface beneath you. Just let them go. Soften your body and let it sink. And then let the earth support you and allow your mind to release your body completely. As it does, know that other thoughts will come to you. 
Let those thoughts go as well. If you think about your body again, just let it go. Exhale, tension. Mind drifting, just no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Let the thoughts float as easily as your breath, in and out, without attention. And just let your awareness turn inward. Releasing thoughts of your body or your mind, just allow your mind to drift and your body to sink and your awareness to turn to the peace within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. And just take a few moments to be peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing today, just relax as long as you have time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room and your body. And as you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently. However feels right for you today. Look at those arms and fingers and fists and Shoulders moving around after all our work there today. Give yourself a good stretch. And when it's time for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, draw those heels up toward your hips, and your knees toward your heart. Just wrap your arms around whoever feels good for that appreciative yoga hug. And when you're ready, and Keep to the floor or roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.